Oh, look at that. Mm, yeah, it's cute. Let's get ready for the battle. It is still burning my eye. <gasps> here we have the Bobbi Brown skin tint, and here we have the Hourglass. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube. And today we have a foundation face off, which is a concept I came up with several months ago, probably like six months ago or something, where I put two similar coverage products head to head, do a full wear test all day, check in at the end of the night and see which one wins the battle. Okay, so today we have the new Hourglass Veil Skin Tint going up against the the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. And I have full reviews on both of these. So if you wanna see detailed reviews about these products, I will link those very detailed review and wear tests in the info below, but go ahead, leave a comment right now. Which one do you think will win based off of my reviews that you've seen? Or if you haven't seen them based off of your use or what you read about them. So leave us a comment. What do you think is going to last all day the best? All right, now let me put my headband on. I feel like applying coverage products is much easier with a headband than it is little makeup clips right now. Oh, look at that. Mm, yeah, it's cute. So with the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint and the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint, they are both glowy finishes. I don't care that the Bobbi Brown says that it is a natural finish. It is, it's a glowy finish and they are both light coverage. However, the Bobbi Brown I feel like is honestly sheer coverage and I have the shade two in both of them, two in the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint and Fair Two in the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. Currently I am an NC15. So both of these are really a good match for me. The Hourglass, my favorite preferred way to apply, ended up being with the sponge because in my foundation reviews, I do apply the foundations on one side of my face and the other with different application processes. So don't forget to go watch the full review to see what it looks like applied with a brush as well, but I prefer the sponge with this one. However, the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint, I applied with my fingers and a brush, and I preferred the brush side, but today I would like to try it out with the sponge since I didn't do that to begin with. So both of these, head to head, no primer, no setting spray. I will not be powdering these down because they both claim long wear, and when a high-end product claims long wear, girl, you shouldn't have to set it or prime it or anything like that, especially when they're charging about $50 for each one of these products. So no primer, both applied with a sponge. Let's get ready for the battle. So with the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint, you are supposed to shake it up. So that's what we're doing. I love the packaging on skin tints, honestly, that come out in like a little squeeze tube like this. So let's go ahead and apply the Hourglass Hourglass veil on the left side of my face. And I'm applying what would equal probably one pump of a foundation with a pump. Also leave me a comment, what is your favorite packaging when it comes to coverage products? I prefer little squeeze tubes, honestly, for travel, but I also love a good lightweight glass bottle that has a very controllable pump. Now, as you can see, this is very traditional light coverage and I don't believe we need to add any more. Now, for the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint, I'm going to apply just the same amount. Again, this is the shade Fair 2, and I'm gonna use this side of the Beauty Blender so I'm not actually mixing it up with the Hourglass. So we're gonna apply the Bobbi Brown on the right side of the face. Now, the scent on this, I'll just go ahead and tell you what you would find out if you watch my full review on this, which I highly recommend. Again, I will link that below. I feel like the scent of this is pretty offensive. It ends up fading a little bit and dissipating, but but who girl, it is, it smells like a citronella candle and it burns my eyes a little bit. So there we have the same amount of product applied to each side of the face. And let me know, what do you think? Do you think the Bobbi Brown could be considered light coverage? Honestly, to me, it is very, very sheer. And I have to say, I do like the Bobbi Brown applied with the sponge better than I did with the brush or my fingers. I felt like with the brush and the fingers, it really just kind of looked patchy and it ended up peeling up. This looks better. However, I am noticing 
a little bit of pilling on my nose and I just have my regular skincare on that does not create pilling. So I'm honestly thinking that this is the product itself. Now the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Skin Tint does have an SPF of 15 and the Hourglass has no SPF. I truly don't really enjoy wearing SPF every single day when I'm inside, honestly, or outside because foundation coverage products tend to actually be a physical barrier to the sun anyway. And we need some of the sun's rays, you know? So no SPF is, I just prefer no SPF in my coverage products because I do tend to break out. I do have very dry, sensitive, breakout prone skin. And I'm stressed just thinking about a breakout doing this. <laughs> I have to say when I did the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint review, I felt like it broke my face out. But then I thought about it and I was like, hmm, I did just use a new serum that I hadn't tried before, before I tried this. So I'm really curious to see today if it breaks me out again. It is still burning my eye. <gasps> So here we are up close. Here we have the Bobbi Brown Skin Tint and here we have the Hourglass. Let me know what your preferred side is right now and uh, go ahead and give this video a like if you are enjoying my foundation face-offs. Yeah, okay, so I feel like both, I mean, far away it looks comparable. Up close, I'm preferring the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. Now I'm gonna apply the rest of my makeup, let these sit on the skin. Neither one of these oxidize. So we'll be back in an hour or so because I have a couple of other things to work on and we'll see how these look in natural daylight. Let's get ready for the battle. All right, it is time for the check-in. The current time is three. 38. So we have actually had both of these skin tints on for several hours and I have some thoughts. All right. So again, the left side is the hourglass veil skin tint. And I have to say it looks beautiful. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. I think that it is wearing down beautifully. And the right side is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint. So go ahead and let me know right now. It's been on, both of them been on my face for a few hours. The only area that I have powdered down is my under eyes. I don't even have powder bra. Everything that I have on my face is cream. It's all cream except for the powder that I powdered my concealer with. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint, which is on the right side of my face, your left looks so much better than it did applying it with a brush or my fingers. I am highly impressed by the way it looks compared to the way it looked in the original reviews. However, I'm currently getting a breakout as the day went on on the right side of my face, right here, my chin, and I'm getting a little more like smaller pimples popping up on the right side of my forehead. And it's just unfortunate. It's a little broken up around my nose, but it did perform better than it did in the original review. So I was a little blown away. The scent of this, the citronella candle scent. I don't understand what that is, why they did that, but it literally makes me nauseous. It still hasn't dissipated. Like I, I can smell it doing this, but you know, if that doesn't bother you and you don't have break like acne prone, breakout prone skin, I do. This might work well for you if you're looking for a sheer product with SPF that gives you a glow. However, it's just not working for me, but it looks better than it did with a brush or my fingers. So definitely apply this with a slightly damp sponge and I think you'll get a better result. So I'm gonna go on with the rest of the day. Both of these products claim long wear, so we will see which one lasts better throughout the day. I will see you guys in natural daylight. It is currently a little past four. I am about to do push day, sorry, pull day along with cardio. So it's gonna get real hot and sweaty because girl, I believe it's 105 outside. Holy moly, let's talk about it. The right side is the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. Girl, she is looking beautiful. I would say if you wanted something with a little more coverage, with a little more glow, like I said in my full review, definitely check out the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Tint. And then the the right side we have the Bobbi Brown and I have to say if you will go watch the original review 
It looks like a totally different coverage product when applied with a beauty blender. I am highly impressed with it. It still smells. I'm still going to return it. But if you don't mind the scent, and again, if you don't have sensitive breakout prone skin, this might be your gal when it comes to a skin tint with SPF. The Hourglass does not have SPF. They've both worn down pretty beautifully today. One more. See the breakout that's happening? One more scan of the face. This side is the Hourglass. This side is the Bobbi Brown. I'm already sweating. Here's this side's breakout starting. It's just not a sensitive skin friendly formula. Okay, hourglass. Bobby Brown, let's go get our workout on. And we've entered the part of the day that I don't even know what it looked like. I just finished hit outside. Okay. Oh, look at that sweat, girl. It is 110 degrees out right now and this is what we're looking at it's hard to tell but my sweat looks like to me is not breaking up on the hourglass side but it's definitely breaking up on the bobby brown side which is funny because the bobby brown skin tint has an spf of 15 so it's like outdoor friendly i can wear this at the pool at the lake but if you're sweating and it your sweat's breaking it up probably not the best thing to go for so other than breaking me out the terrible smell the smell is dissipated it's uh, a, a little past five o'clock now oh, let's get a close look this side is hourglass oh my god we're sweating our mascara off i tried a new mascara today and it's not holding up we got a little breakout on our chin on the bobby brown side you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think at this point in the video like this video if you're enjoying my foundation face-offs we get real here no filters here so, you wanna say hi to the girls? Girls! Girls! They're always showing up for a foundation review. And now they're leaving. All right, I will see you guys in the night. I'm gonna blot my face and just soak up the sweat and see how this rests. Ooh, rests. <sighs> I need to rest. See how this wears the rest of the night. It is still burning my eye. <gasps> All right, hi you guys. Why did my screen just go off? Okay. Hi you guys, it is the end of the night. It is 8.05. I've had both of these skin tints on now for 10, 12 hours. Either way, okay, let's take these glasses off. Let me just say right now, both wore in extreme heat conditions. It was 105 outside with a heat index of 116, like right as I was working out and it got worse as I went to the grocery store. I just left in my workout gear, went to the grocery store, came back, cooked. I just had dinner and that's it. Face has not been touched at all, only sweated upon, you know what I mean? By my own sweat. So I just got finished eating dinner. Let's talk about it. First of all, both sides ended up looking really pretty after the sweat dried down on, like off of my face, like dried down and you know, all that good stuff. So I'm wondering if the Bobbi Brown skin tint wouldn't look better with a setting spray. Here's the interesting thing that I noticed though. When I tried the Bobbi Brown to review it for the first time, I wasn't really paying attention too much to like how it felt exactly. I felt like it felt lightweight, felt a little bit moisturizing, things like that. But as the day went on, having the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint versus the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched, Vitamin Enriched Skin Tint on, the right side of my face, the left is what you're seeing, feels very itchy like not very lightly itchy it's a little it feels a little irritated but i have to say applying the bobby brown vitamin and rich skin tint with a sponge prevented it from doing white freckling on my face like it was really bad it sunk into my pores during the first review and everything it did not do that with the sponge application which is very shocking surprising i feel like both look great however the bobby brown has to go back just because it's irritating my skin it irritates my eyes the scent on it is just terrible. Not a fan, but I want to know if you guys have tried it or are interested in trying it. Just because something doesn't work for me, it might work for you, especially if you have a different skin type and sensitivities. Let's talk about the left side, which is your right side. The Hourglass Veil Skin Tint. I mean, both of them wore beautifully. I feel like the Hourglass broke up a little less. I even have, oh, I even have like a little breakout around my nose after the day went on. That's pretty wild, but both sides wore down beautifully. The hourglass 
veil skin tint, however, did wear down better in my opinion. I don't feel like either faded too much, but the Bobbi Brown definitely just kind of, I feel like it kind of faded around here, but you guys, I had been drenched in sweat all day. This was one of the most in heat intensive foundation face-offs or reviews I've ever done because today was extremely hot and I spent a lot of time outside, a lot of time in a hot kitchen. So I have to say the Hourglass Veil Skin Tint definitely wins overall. There is more coverage. I like the finish better. I feel like it doesn't necessarily blur imperfections, but it definitely kind of, you know, deflects from imperfections. That's a really good way to put it. The Bobbi Brown, however, if you don't apply it perfectly, it wants to sink into pores. It wants to get patchy. Today, it applied a lot better, but I'm breaking out. My skin is irritated. So to me, the Hourglass Veil definitely wins, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, Hourglass, Bobbi Brown, which one do you truly think looks better. I may be partial just because I don't like the way the Bobbi Brown smells and my skin is irritated. Not everyone is going to get irritated from this skin tint, okay? Just people's sensitive, breakout prone skin. So if you're looking for something with lighter coverage and SPF, the Bobbi Brown may be the way to go. So I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation face off. Let me know in the comments what foundations I should face off next. I love doing these tests. I can't wait for the winter to do different types of tests. So thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like this video if you did in fact enjoy it it really helps youtube know that you enjoy my content so you'll see more of it and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss a video from me if you do enjoy this type of content we would love for you to stick around and be a part of this beautiful wonderful positive community i will see you guys in the next one i'm gonna go wash my face now like right now let's get ready for the battle all right